yet another fairly safe plane for everyone involved. They'll be able to drop down into their favored locations, which is perfect for us. It's perfect for the players. We get to see top quality PUBG action. Now, a very diagonal plane again, just from the other side again. It opens up very nicely for everyone. Now, we'll see if we have any, any changes. Omakan again, another team that are flexible drop in there, going to Porto Paraiso this time instead. Navi with an early La Caparilla as well. Could open up. I'd like to see some different uh, different innings here. We've we've had our fair share of our our usual innings we've seen before in some of the tournaments in our region qualifiers as well. We had an Oasis ending in the scrim game. I would love to see that. Oh yeah. Just uh, not to throw too hard of a crit ball, but some of these different innings here. But again, we kind of uh, uh, we, we would be expecting Phase to also get one of the kind of home turf circles on the west side, but they do have Tornado Energy now there. They're not so, mm. so so open for them again. I'm very central, very very central. Uh, Snakers and uh, Ooh, uh, Reload flood. covered off. But I spotted Exalt. There's Monkey. Monkey's alone in this compound here, so he's not going to be saved. Ooh. He's jumping in between. He has no idea. Miracle is going to be taking some damage from falling as well. That's unfortunate. Melman's going to find Kickstart. He's going to finish him. Ali's going to finish him off. So that's Wildcard down. That's unfortunate for him. He was alone over there, I believe. That was over at Power Grid still. They've still yeah. stayed there. They're in the ditches at Power Grid. They have Meta coming up behind them. But yeah, somewhat surprising to see early engagements there, the first killer of the game. A position that's hard to get out of. It's fairly easy to hold solo because not a lot of mm. teams they play. They prefer to play around the crater because he, this is where you have the some of the only dips around this. EB and the guys from Liquid, they're going to be holding it down, making sure that the information that they can get from the west, they're going to be coming some teams in. They're going to be trying to get some of these points that are going. coming towards them. He's leaving teams, it. Yeah, he's going to be coming over to EB so they can play a 2-2 split with the dip just north of the other guys came in and Mexi that is holding down the I'm just wondering warehouse. if we see a team like WTSG commit to that 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 compound because they know that it is often held by a single team they're just going to play edge instead so it looks like they're just going to roll up slowly rather than uh, yeah, maybe take the crater commit. actually yeah. the, the that's northern what side of the crater yeah. Yeah, that could be a really good play for them here take they have spotted that there's nobody up here they could have spot, scouted that for a long way so they can take this spot here we saw Pixel was over close to it before but he's not anymore so it's actually a very nice very good play from them here in the third circle flood still sitting in Side Labandita Crater, they're actually in the northeastern side, very split out, fighting with Shoot to Kill. Pushing up, looks like WTSG have stopped, so they're going to stick on that northern side of the crater, as you say. Exalt going with a 2 2 still, committing to it. Oath have moved up quite freely, they're going to get gifted a crate, but Woolly is going to be very lucky if he manages to avoid damage here, and he has now been. Whiffing their shots just as they have been all tournament. It hasn't been a great performance for them. They did come in very, very, very late to this tournament, so it has been a little harsh for them. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have been practicing coming into this one at all. I mean, they've had some good placement, but the kills is just not there yet, and they're playing the usual very slow game, Oof. and everybody Bad else bandit. has are already very centered here. So getting some kills here to tap. It's gonna be one, but they're on this side, like they're so far away from the center of the circle, fighting on the edge here, not prioritizing getting into position, but rather trying to get some kills on the edge here. Monkey's gonna find Harold with that AWM. Nice shot from him with a nice headshot. Decent amount of shots. It's gonna go straight the onto the crater, centralizing on the crater. I'm wondering okay. if we're gonna, gonna see anyone it? gonna send in yeah. here. This is going to be some of the teams from the outside are going to be sending him. Like, this is where DA, who should have been here really, who couldn't get the visas, would absolutely be in that crater right now. I can guarantee it. T Bone's found Atletico, you know, with a knock from this early on. Oh. I don't know whether he's got a an angle from the the position. Yeah, he is. should be able to finish it from there as well. That's so far away. Oh, nice shots from T Bone. Oh, shoot to kill. Tried to steal it. You saw the pink blip come in. Yeah. They basically helped him finish it off. Halo. Has died early, unfortunately, for Shoot to Kill, and they have a far way to get out of here. Get out of Labandita together with Atletico, but Exalt is fully aware of this. They're just sitting up. You can see they're even. Wildcard are going. Wildcard is Navi are in a vehicle as well. Best Lodge may pull up before him, but it looks like Wildcard are going to stop short. They're not going to try and send it in there. And just keeping my eye. I got a feeling Singularity. I'm looking at Quick in the north there as well, seeing whether him and his teammates all in vehicles. That's a four man squad ready to push in. Exodus, who have been sitting on this high ground. It's great that they're taking pot shots on everyone now. They have to try and collect as many kills as they can because they realize as soon as I start committing to come down that hill, they're running into FaZe. FaZe themselves just took a knock from Red Canids. 
gets some shots towards his Navi. Doesn't connect just yet. Some bit far away. Wildcard is still in between. Wooler's actually just sitting in down low. Exodus, I should say, they're going to have a rough time trying to get into the position. They're probably going to go over to the other guys. Omo can also have to make a move. They can, there's a lot of dips around the creator that can actually play here. Sergeant's going to go down. That's Snake is going to find Kodak. And Civil is going to go full flush onto Sergeant. Best Lux is going to knock down Wooly and finish him off. Yeah, that leaves Keenan the last one standing for Wildcard. He made it to the edge of the crater. WTSG, as you can see, they committed. They went for it. They scouted it. And they realized, what the hell? This is completely free. How is this still open? How is this still free? They were probably surprised by it. And that is a great position for them moving into this final few circles. Exodus, they've pushed over to the sort of western side at the moment. I think they're going to have to commit for it. Oh, Taylor J is in the circle right now. Vegas is not. And he's trying to hold Navi at bay. T-Bone has found extreme promolytical. They're going to go out in 16th. That's very unfortunate for them. The question for me is here. WCG, they're sitting in the middle, yes. But since it being in the crater, they're going to have a hard time getting any kills from this because all the fight is going to be around yeah, the yeah, rims yeah. of the crater. All, every point, every kill that they could have gotten by being on the top there, they're going to be missing out on that. But they're prioritizing placement, trying to get into late game, play, basically playing for the win. It's most likely going to end close to them, but again, if it does shift away again and again, they're going to have a rough time getting out of the crater because it's very open. This battle about to play out as Paige gets a glimpse, sees Exalt just over the brim on the hill. They've got to be so aware, they're well aware that shoots a killer over the right hand side. They've been exchanging them. And Civil deciding to uh, end Luke's life and saying, nope. You know what? We're just going to deny all the points and uh, finish you off. I'm not too sure if that was a planned a kill, but it's happened nonetheless. And uh, I don't think Uncivil's going to be too happy about it. But look at Paige moving in. The smoke's down. The nades are coming in. He's taking fire from a uh, shoot to kill. I think it is around the side there. But Paige is going very aggressive. The nades helping the cover as he pushes in over the brow of the hill. Him and his teammate, but Nailip holding the off angle. May well put Paige to this completely. Shiv gets Ivan in the back. The nades come in from Vasco. T-Bone gets Shiv down, but Shiv has got Paige down. And this is very messy. T-Bone and Nailip, the last two standing in a 1v1. Nailip was holding that off angle. I'm not too sure T-Bone can hold that res. He's, oh, he's going to get caught by shoot to kill out in the blue. Oh no, my word. It's all gone wrong for Omicron. And now he may even be able to put Exalt down. No, he finishes off and Nailip will get the revive. And that's very unfortunate for Omakan here. They didn't prioritize taking the shoot to kill guys down, so they're just third partying, stealing all the points and also Knocking them as well, but metagaming with a fight here with Tornado Energy outside the new circle and Liquid, they're actually waiting for this to happen, trying to maybe finish off some of these points, some of the kills and knocks that's going to go down. EP is close to it as well, they're repositioning just on the circle. We do have a new circle as well, it's centralized kind of nicely over WGC as well. Man, this is a tough fight. Meta can't go back because Oath are there. The Tornado Energy can't go the other way because Team Liquid are there. They have to fight and... Neither of them are going to come out alive at the end of the day. Navi and FaZe now moving close to each other down the south side of the circle as well. But this is the battle it looks like to be playing out next as Tornado Energy try to smoke their approach. But they are so cautious. They're blocking the angle from Team Liquid so they can't third party. And then they want to try and take on Meta. Fuss FaZe repositioning and now Fuss. Oh, exactly. Trying to get, oh, push push this is pushed it. Egg Patcap's going to take down 180 and is knocked it. One more down Vegas. This has gone all wrong for Faceclan. Fosfor is going to be finished off by Best Lodge. That's Faceclan out in 13th place. Vegas hoovering up the kills there. As soon as they came down the hill, now I think Face were so focused on Navi maybe approaching from the from the west side that they just totally missed the, the straight pull up from Exodus from behind on the hill. That's give them the ditch. Meanwhile, Exalt they're still picking kills up. That is inside games they've moved in on. And they have collected themselves yet more kills. Four kills and counting is all they've got so far, but they are continuing to make their push. And that's given the majority of this eastern side of the circle. Back over on the west, though. Team Luke going to move in on this one. Tornado Energy have gone. That's going to be Meta and Singularity and Oath all getting involved with one another. A Singularity make this push. A two-man push on a four-man squad. The other two are in the circle. They're pushing inside the crater here. Now, Nades are coming in from Navi. That is one finish and one knock. This is a great opening for Navi here. Can they continue this? They might be able to get a really good start off to this game. Kill Demo is going to take off Pat Caps, though. It's going to be finished off. Red Candidates are already or starting to finally. He's got an open dissipate. angle. He's got an open angle on him. And Bearfrost spins on a dime and takes Kill Demo down. Oh my god. He just absolutely wrecked him. 
The, there's no way he should have come out on top of that. Oh no, Keenan's been found the last man of wild card. He's in trouble. Inside games are getting involved, but they're trying to third party as much as they can. Meanwhile, in the crater, WTSG were going aggressive and they've lost a man as well. As we see Meta going out in the blue, the rest of Meta and O still collapsing over on the north. Shift coming into Keenan. Keenan's in a really good position. They want to take over this here. Now he wants to go there. He's going to be found out by Pixel. And uh, Inside Games is completely participating. There's also low edge actually find one of the red candidates, guys. So he's going to be knocked. Probably going to be able to be picked up again. Exodus is down Team to Liquid only pushing two. Over on the west. They're coming around the side. They're trying to flush through. Sorry about that. Meta and Oath, they're crashing with one another and they want to get involved. Exalt, they just got caught out by WTSG coming down from the mountains. But Team Liquid are squeezing around the back sides. They've got to be careful they don't overcommit. Maybe get caught and brawled in this one. But they want a third party as much as they can. Collect those kills. They're finding outside this early. If they do get knocked, they will be finished off. They could prioritize taking a better position and try to third party the fight between Meta from another position. Here, the team's going to find one taking Sparking down. Down the south, it looks like Red Canids are also going to commit on Exodus. They are making a sweep around straight towards them. You can see K-Mine doing what he can. Absolutely fantastic. But here comes the Canids over the brow of the hill. It's a tough push because they're going in towards Navi as well. It is a double team fight really working out for them. Navi are trying to back away from this one. They realize, let's just let them fight and maybe get ourselves a positional advantage. IG, Odd Solovac is coming around the back. He wants to get a bit of kills as well and see if he can get involved. It's crossing the road to just enter, or to just join this fight here. Higuin's gonna find. Oh, oh my, my God! God! Higuin, absolutely wrecking Oath here. Oath is gonna go down in tenth position. Wow! Beryl action there, absolutely. Higuin, absolutely wrecking. And meanwhile, down the south side, Rusty Zero doing the same to Exodus. Now, look, Ostrolovac is going to come in. Thank you very much. Clean the kill up. Should be done. And he will take down the Red Canid. So IG get themselves their third kill as Navi now can make the move and get over the road. They're taking a good position here. Navi, great game. Four guys alive. Six kills. Nice start for them. Jeans is going to find Shong. Iguin is going to be found by Cayman. That's metagaming out in seventh. We have six teams left and only 16 alive. Team Liquid trying to reposition and move. They go to the edge of the crater now. Shong is down. He's actually getting tacked up pretty heavily. There is smoke down to cover his position. Iro dashed inside the door, but I think Tab and Besselor should have an angle on him here, but he is going to get revived if they're not quick enough. That's oh, nice. a double crate drop for Team Liquid. Oh my god, on the west again. It's going to be a 50-50 for the next one. Exhaust is going to be fine. Shift's going to go down to the circle here, but quick did take a few shots towards him. Question if it's a singularity you're able to play and how much room they have to play with. If Liquid looks over the crater and looks over the rim of the crater, they could potentially be seeing them as well. Ooh. Tap is going to find Miracle with a nice edge of the mini. That's a big circle shift as well. That favors Team Liquid massively. They have the entire west side of this ridge line. Now they can see they're trying to get aggressive, but they don't realize that Navi have got this 2-2. Two -two. The two over the road. It's only going to last so long because you can see the blue is on their back. So Senya's going to hop in that vehicle and take Tap. Uh, sorry. Um, Ah, uh, who's with him? I don't know who the hell is with him. Kemba. Kemba's Kemba is with, with him. him. Over. It does leave Ostrolovac over there, but here's the crate gifts from the gods going over to Team Liquid, and now the nade battle begins. Best luck trying to position it. This is a rough fight, and this this fight could open it up for uh, WGSG. They could be moving out. They could be they taking are, a positional going. advantage on it already. Kmart's going to find Harold, though, inside the crater. That's going to be unfortunate for Singularity. They could be going down in fifth place. Nate, very good Nate here coming oh, out. On him. Oh, 70 damage on Senya. Rest of Spray coming out as well. Nice spray from Maybe. Maybe. Oh, watch Lorix is going to go down in fifth place, though. Well, goes down. Mexi is the one that finishes the job. But Strolovac did get that knock in there as well, which helped him out. And look at WTSG. They've moved up on force the other side of the ridge line while Team Liquid and Navi fight. They have quickly squeezed in and they turn their attention. They're going to fight Singularity and make sure their backs are covered while Team Liquid try and finish off Navi. This is very good for WGSG here. Navi's caught in the middle of this. Iris going to be found though by Bessalas. Nice spray from the Forex. Doesn't connect all of them though. Bessalas going to come out. And that's quick finding Iris. It's probably going to be stoned by Bessalas though. Yep. One more point for Navi. Confirmed over the oh, side. The Tap down Bestelos now. The last man standing is Team Liquid. Look to sweep over the side. Bestelos spotted, but Mexi can't finish the job. Ibi comes over the top, and that will take him down. And then they're going to quickly back away, get James on his feet. But WTSG are already pushing the backs. And this Singularity, meanwhile, Harold's moved all the way over. This is great for Singularity. They could potentially third part of this fight here. Can they get Jeems up though? Nates are coming out. This is going to be important for WGSG. They have to kind of reposition, take a positional advantage around this high ground. Quick though, this is going to be spotted in the middle by Shong. 
Harold's already over there with a really nice cover as well. Let's see if they can reposition this. WCG and Liquid, they don't want to fight each other yet because they know there's another team that potentially could third party them and completely ruin their chances. So now they're trying to get one more up. James is going to be picked up by Ibi. That means that Liquid is going to be four guys strong. Exactly WCG's what WCSG want, yeah. yeah. And they hold the center. Shong and Vard have moved towards it, so they realize, okay, Liquid, you're going to have to come over the brow of the hill. You need to silhouette and show yourself. And that's what they're going to do. So D Team Liquid, they want to sweep around down south and swing the way around straight to Miraku. Miraku is going to be the holding man. The flashbang comes out, doesn't really connect. Team Liquid, though, they have the nades. They have the smokes. Team WTSG have nothing left. That nade hits Vard. 58% straight away down there as Jeems looks to try and get an angle. Can he see Miraku? Miraku is going to be so vital in holding Liquid at bay. Look at this as well. It's... They are holding the best position because the high ground actually at the push favors in. WCSG. Vard going to be the first man that comes up. Miraku gets the knock. That's what he needs. And instantly goes straight down. Vard pops up, gets Mexi down. That is so good from WTSG. It works out absolutely perfectly. Vard comes around, executes Ibi. No sneak. He's peeking for you, son. He will get Miraku down. Quick comes around the back. The nade on to Jeems and K-Mine down. Singularity with a backstab. It's a two-on-one. Harold, the last man standing for Singularity. As Shong and Vard go hunting. Shong should be able to see him first. He knows exactly where Harold is, but he's not quite got the pit, uh, shot. Oh, he's looking at the wrong man. He's going to try and finish quick off. And now he's unsure. Now he sees him. Harold in the blue, trying to deny it. Doesn't matter. WTSG get themselves another chicken dinner and a seven kill win. They are unstoppable so far at the GLL Season 4 Finals.